Supreme Court announces it will hear a case challenging the constitutionality of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. One America's Joseph Dupnik has more on the case and how it ties into the 2020 election. The Supreme Court agrees to take a Trump administration-backed challenge this term over the constitutionality of a consumer bureau. In 2010, the Dodd-Frank Wall Street Reform and Consumer Protection Act established a regulatory agency to police the financial sector. Basically, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau will be a watchdog for the American consumer, charged with enforcing the toughest financial protections in history. The CFPB was conceived by 2020 presidential contender Senator Elizabeth Warren in response to the 2008 financial crisis. Along with the creation of the bureau, the law says the president may not remove the agency's director except for, quote, inefficiency, neglect of duty, or malfeasance in office. In court briefs, California-based law firm Shayla Law argues the restriction on the president's authority to remove the director, quote, violates the Constitution's separation of powers. The Trump administration and CFPB director Kathy Kraninger are backing the challenge. And despite surviving multiple court challenges, a change may be coming to the bureau. While on the Washington, D.C. appeals court, Justice Brett Kavanaugh made clear in dissent that he believes the structure of the CFPB is impermissible. A decision in the case will likely come by the end of June, in the midst of the 2020 presidential campaign, which could affect a potential Elizabeth Warren campaign. Donald Trump and the Republicans are going to say, the consumer agency doesn't work. The consumer agency is wrong. The consumer agency is too independent. You know, for me, that's what it all comes down to. Whose side are you really on? The court will have three options, either uphold the CFPB's structure, rule that the director must be fireable, or throw out the agency altogether. Joseph Dupnik, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.